Hey, Core 1 and 9 students, and welcome to your introduction to PebblePad. In this video, you're going to see how to find, open, edit, and save your group work workbook. So, let's get started. This is, should be familiar to you as your Core 1 and 9 Blackboard site. And if you come down to the PebblePad link under Learning Activities, you can get straight into your PebblePad account. So we'll click on that and we want to go into PebblePad. By the time you watch this, these video links will be in the space underneath this PebblePad login link. So let's get started by clicking on our PebblePad account. Okay, so when our PebblePad account opens, this is the window that we'll see. And what we're going to do now is find the workbook that's been set up for task three to guide us through our group work process and help with reflection. So what you need to do is come to your tools and resources. A workbook is a resource that has been created for you. So click on tools and resources and you're going to come to your resource center. You'll notice this star icon here and it corresponds directly with this star icon up here. That's another way that you can get to your resource center. So let's just click over here and our resource center opens. At this point, you probably have a fairly similar view. This is your by me section of your resource center, probably empty at this point. What you're looking for is your for me section. These are the things that have been made for you. So if you click on that, you'll see that you've got a core 109 group work task workbook and that's what you're looking for. You can see that it's been shared to you by Core 109 Semester 1 2015. If you're doing any other courses that are using PebblePad you may well see some other resources in there but this is the one you're looking for for this task. So in order to open this you just click on it one time. Don't be double clicking in PebblePad you'll get used to that. So click on it once to activate it and you'll see that you get the option down here to use this resource. So we'll go ahead and click on use. When you do that, it's going to let you know that it's going to automatically submit this to a workspace. That's so that your tutors have access to this when you've completed the assessment. Remember, this is automatically submitting for you but it is not automatically saving. So it will be up to you to save this resource and workbook every time you make any edits or before you close it. So at this point, we'll click continue and the workbook opens for us. So I'm just gonna move it to show you to get more space. So this is what's going to open. Now, the first time you open it, you may not be able to see all these weeks they'll be released to you in time for you to use them. But just so that you can see in this video presentation, I've left them all visible for now. So each week, there are different tabs here for you to come and fill in. And all you need to do is click on each tab, have a look at the information, and then as you can see, you can come down here and enter some reflections. In this case, it's about your group formation. The next tab takes you to your group planning tab. And over here, you can put in the names of your group members. And then a lot of the information from here mirrors the group planning notes and reflection sheet, which you got in your tutorials. So you're just keeping your information in here so that you have it all in one spot for the whole assessment task. Right, so you can fill that information in. The other tab for the week to have a look at is the Graduate Attributes tab. There's some information there on what they are. And then each of these, Communication, Collaboration and Organisation, are the Graduate Attributes that are assessed in this piece of assessment. So as you can see, there are some opportunities there for you to rate yourself and to comment on why you've rated yourself at this level. So right now, the only other thing we really need to remember to do for our first week is to save 
the work. So you come right to the top here to the little icon and save this asset. You'll get a notification that that's been submitted. So I've got a notification pop up and says it's been accepted. My asset has been submitted and that's great to know. I'm going to close this now and I want to show you a couple of things that have changed within Pebblepad. So in my resource center, which is where I originally found this, that's not going to be where I find it the next time. Although this will still exist here. Okay, so what I want to make sure I do is come across to my assets. And I can see that now that I've started filling that group task in, I've got an asset that's my workbook. I also notice I've got a green dot here that says my asset has been submitted to a workspace. If you do forget this and you come back to the resource center and to for me and try to open this again, it will remind you that you've actually already got one of these in use. So it asks if you want to open the existing asset and of course you would just click continue at this point. So as a fail safe it will open the one that you've already started. So you can see here that you can just come back in and keep editing that particular workbook. That is how we find, open, edit and save our work for our group work workbook.